Hello, welcome to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another video tutorial on Photoshop Element 6. These tutorials seem to be doing very well on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing. And if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed as of yet to the YouTube uh, videos that I'm posting, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to the show. All that's going to do when you go into YouTube, then you'll have a list of shows that you subscribed to, and you can just find it uh, more easily that way. Also, please post a comment under uh, each of the videos, and this apparently helps build ratings on YouTube, and it helps more people find the videos. So that would be a good thing. Today, I thought I would talk to you a little bit about backing up your catalog. It just appeared to me that I've been showing you a lot of how to get your pictures in to Photoshop Element 6, how to organize them, and then we started doing some basic editing. But I want to take a step, just one step backwards, and show you how to back up the catalog and all of the pictures in it. Because let's face it folks, computers crash. And when a computer crashes and you have all your digital pictures on them, it makes it a lot more painful, especially if you have a lot of vacation photos on there. And I've ran into quite a few people that have done that, and I've tried to recover their pictures for them, and sometimes we're lucky and sometimes we're not. So where I'm going to start with is that is to tell you that you're going to need to buy a piece of equipment. You can do this. You can back these up to either a CD or a DVD. I really would not recommend a CD because it does not hold enough information. Today's digital cameras produce very large file formats, so we want to make sure that we have enough room to back everything up to it. A writable DVD will work, but then you're always searching through your DVDs to find your right catalogs and to find which one you want to replace uh, if you should ever have a system crash. So the only thing I'm going to tell you about today is the backup uh, external hard drives. And here is a picture of one right here. This is actually two external hard drives. This one on the right, the black one here, is a 500 gigabyte. I bought an internal drive and an enclosure and actually built that one. The one you see on the left is an 80 gigabyte Western digital drive. Pretty inexpensive nowadays. This drive is actually used for my Windows machine and this drive I used to use Time Machine to back up my, uh, my Mac. So let's go back. That just shows you what they look like. Oh, one other thing with the drive. You see right here on the far right, this is a USB plug. That's how you plug this into your computer. And when you do that, it simply becomes a, another hard drive listed in your uh, My Computer. And I'll try to show you that real quick. Hopefully this will come up in the center here. And it does. As you see right here, it says Western Digital USB. So it just comes up as another drive letter. Let's go ahead and close that. Now, what we're going to do is back up our entire catalog to that 80 gigabyte USB external hard drive. To do that, it's very simple. Photoshop Element 6 makes it very easy to take care of your pictures and to back these things up. It's not automatic. That would be even better. Just click under File. Let's go to Backup Catalog 2, see where it says CD, DVD, or Hard Drive. Let's click on that. At this point, it's going to come up, and it's going to ask us, what do we want to back up? Now, here's the difference between backups. A full backup is everything in the catalog in its current state, which backs up also all of your albums and all of your tags. So everything will be backed up. So if you have a system crash and you pull this back, it will come back exactly as you had it laid out here. All your pictures will be back in. The catalogs will be the same. Stacks will still be there and everything will work. Incremental backups. What an incremental backup allows you to do is once you have that full backup, and let's say you, uh, you shoot a, a wedding or maybe you shoot a birthday party, you import the pictures and you can then do an incremental backup. It will only back up those new pictures into the full backup files. I'm sure that makes a lot of sense to you at that point. And if it doesn't, by all means, email me at, at uh, jackstechcorner at gmail.com. 
Let's go ahead and click next for full backup. And here's my F drive. That drive, F, is the letter for my external um, hard drive. The file path or backup path. This is very important. You can leave it at F, which means everything will get dumped on the root of that hard drive. Not a very good idea. Click on Browse. Here's the F drive listed. Let's click on New Folder. And we'll do Elements 6 Backup. Now I just created a new folder and I called it Element 6 Backup. Let's hit OK. Now you can see all of our backups going to go into a folder on an external hard drive. This is this total size of the backup. 106.9 megabytes. Not a lot of pictures in this particular machine that I'm doing these videos with. Now, all we have to do is simply hit done. It's going to come up, it's going to tell you please wait, and it's going to start sending all that information over to our backup hard drive. And I suggest you use an external hard drive just for the simple fact that you're getting it away from the the computer itself. So if the computer has a malfunction of some kind and burns up the internal hard drives, at least you have all these pictures stored somewhere else other than the, uh, the computer itself. So as the backup completed successfully, click OK. And if you want to check that to see the backup, again open up your My Computer you can go into your external hard drive, it's just like a hard drive, just double click it. And here's our Element 6 backup folder. And here's all of our pictures that it copied over. Copied everything over, plus it copied up the, over the catalog and the backup information. So it'll know how all your tags and everything was set up in your albums. Just close that out. And with that folks, I hope you uh, better understand how to back up your catalogs in Photoshop Element 6 and get all your pictures stored on an external hard drive. Most external hard drives today you could pick up probably 120 or 160 gigabyte which is uh, fairly large and you can get those at most retail stores today for uh, under $100. It's well worth the purchase. The USB cable will come with it and uh, a power adapter you just plug it into the wall plug it in the back of your computer and you're good to go. Anybody can do this. Again, if you have any questions, please look me up at uh, or email me at jackstechcorner at gmail.com. Go over to the website, jackstechcorner.com, and sign up for the forums. Not a lot of people are signing up for those forums, but they're a lot of fun. We could pass information back and forth about Photoshop Element 6, and I'd like to hear from you. If you have any cool pictures that you've been editing and you want to email me one, send one of those over too. I'll have a look at it and uh, see what some of your work looks like. So until next time, have a wonderful day and keep editing. I'll see you soon.